Before we begin, I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year to make all these special videos, so if you like the content here, please consider subscribing to help fulfill Project 10K. Thank you, now on to the video. Planes diecasts have gotten pretty expensive in the past few years, which is pretty unfortunate because over the past few years I've been trying to really expand my planes diecast collection. I want to try to get as many planes items as I can before the planes diecast line becomes just too ridiculously expensive. With any car's toy line, you're bound to have a few multi-pack exclusives, and these items often end up becoming very rare and very expensive simply because they were only sold through a multi-pack. There are a few Planes multi-pack exclusives out there, and a few that I would really, really like to get my hands on, but it's just unrealistic. A lot of Planes multi-pack exclusives are very hard to come by, and if they are, then, well, there's a pretty good chance I already have most of the other characters in the multi-pack with them, and so it wouldn't really be worth it to spend $70 for me for only one new item and several duplicates. If they're loose, they're also often typically very, very, very expensive, Collecting items in multi-packs can start costing you quite a bit. And it's a shame because some of the Planes multi-pack exclusives are really cool, and oftentimes they're significant characters, such as the plane in a box right here. The plane that I'm about to unbox today is an item that I genuinely thought I would never be able to get my hands on, simply because of how rare I assumed it would be. But then, fellow Cars YouTuber and member of my Discord server, Eduardo Aguero, sent me a link to a loose listing of this previous multi-pack exclusive plane being sold for only $12. Now, he already had a copy of this plane, and although his was pretty damaged, he wanted me to pick this one up, and so he sent me the link, and it was such a good deal, I knew I couldn't pass up on it. It's so nice to have people in the community looking out for you and trying to find good deals for you, and uh, I really appreciate that. And this time, he really struck gold with this item. I'm so excited about what I'm about to unbox today. I got an insanely cool, insanely important Planes multi-pack exclusive for only $12. Anyway, guys, welcome back to yet another video and to another haul video here on the channel. Without further ado, let's get started. If you couldn't already tell from the fact that this is a multi-pack exclusive, um, this is, of course, a loose copy of the item. You hear it wiggling around in there. It's in a very, very small box, of course. It's just this one plane, but hey, you know, a haul is a haul, right? I thought I may as well still do a haul video, even if it's just, just this one item, because it's still a pretty cool thing to get. We have my new adult size scissors. Look at that. I'm not using kid scissors today. They're actually in my sister's room. My sister has, has adult scissors, but for some reason, I just have several pairs of kid scissors in my room. I mean, I mean, she is a few years older than me, but I just think that's a little rude. I'm 20. I can, uh, I can use scissors responsibly, I swear. I can use them responsibly, but apparently not very well. Hold on. There we go. All right. You know, honestly, I, I'm kind of nervous about this item, genuinely. Uh, I'm kind of nervous that uh, I, I may have gotten the wrong one because um, a few of their listings actually had the wrong character name. Like, they were selling, I think... Arturo from Planes, but he was named after the Russian racer Kolya Ivanov, and the listing for this item didn't actually specifically say the name of the character, so I was getting a little nervous that it might not be the right one, but I do believe I have it. It's not it's not packed the best way. It's just in, in one sheet of uh, styrofoam here. No bubble wrap. But hey, it looks like the item itself isn't very damaged. It did have a few chips on it beforehand. This is a used item, of course. So, let's pull it out. It's... <laughs> Look at that, hey! Well, I did it. I officially did not get scammed. Wow! Wow, look at this. This is an item I never thought I'd have in my collection. This is qualifying Dusty Crop Hopper. This is his look from the start of the movie. Or I guess kind of the middle of the start of the movie. I know that sounds insanely stupid, but Dusty has a lot of looks throughout the film. And he has several different diecasts to capture those. This is his second look in the movie. The first um, was labeled Strut Jetstream Dusty. And it's Dusty with none of those racing logos. This is Dusty after he qualifies for the race. Hence the name Qualifying Dusty. So he's got the, 
the D7 there and also the Jolly Wrenchers logo, but he still has his sprayers, which is really what I was most interested about with this item. To have a Dusty with those sprayers before they're removed is super, super cool. He was only released in a multi-pack back in 2013, but he did get re-released towards the end of the Plains Diecast line. However, he was accidentally labeled as Strut Jetstream Dusty, which was the other Dusty that he is uh, at the beginning of the movie without the Jolly Wrenches logo and all that. Regardless, I still cannot believe I got this item. This was, I believe, the original multi-pack version, considering that seller was selling several other items from that multi-pack, and getting this for only $12 is absolutely crazy. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. If you wait around long enough, you're bound to find some incredible die-cast deals, and that's what I always try to do, right? Wait, wait around until you find a good deal on an item you want to get, and who knows, maybe you'll find something like a $12 Dusty Crop Hopper from a multi-pack, or a $30 Precision Series Sheriff, like I got a few months back. And Dusty can sit here alongside this year's Channel Pumpkin. That's right, you guys thought I forgot about making a pumpkin for the channel this year, didn't you? No, I didn't. In fact, I was saving it for this very moment, because it's very relevant, introducing Pumpkin Crop Hopper. There he is. Look at these guys. Best buddies, best friends forever. Dusty and Pumpkin Dusty just hanging out like bros do. There they are. I wish I could be as cool as that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of qualifying Dusty in the comments. What planes item should I try to get next? I think I'm going to go for Rochelle next, but I also really want to expand my collection of fire and rescue items. So let me know down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now. That was a really bad snap. Can we do that again? There we go.